the venerable Mongoose XR Pro, a bike that's still around today. You can buy it at Walmart brand new, $498, and it's still a decent bike. One of the first full suspension big box bikes that I felt was worthy of trying to make into something even better. But of course that $498 more than I paid. Back when I bought it, it was like $398, $399 because that was back in 2017. I didn't know at the time that that was going to set a tone for the channel. From the first video through 11 more videos for the XR Pro, many where I modified it. Turned it into Project XR, my very first project bike. Needless to say, it was a resounding success, and this is also my most loaned out bike by a long shot. And not only has it held up, it's held up with riders sometimes well over its stated weight capacity without issue. And not just for a little while, I'm talking about for three years in project form, but what I didn't know at the point that I made this video back in January of 2021 is that that was the last video that I would be making with Project XR. Because there is some bad news. I mentioned that yesterday in a community post, and I said details coming tomorrow. Well, Project XR is no more because it was stolen. An outcome very undeserving of the very first Project bike and a successful build. Plus, I'm out a lot of money from this. I had about $1,200, a little over $1,200, just in parts, well, parts and the $400 that I paid for the bike, but then there was another $300, a little over $300, that I paid for bike shop labor. Because back when I did Project XR, that was the infancy of me working a lot on bikes. I mean, the very infancy of me working on it. So beyond adding the pedals or adding the handlebars, something like that, all that drivetrain stuff, I paid the local bike shop to do. And as we all know, bike shop labor is not cheap. My bike shop, among the more affordable, but still, it's expensive to do things. For example, I can remember paying them $30 to put the crown race on this fork. I'm pretty sure that I even paid them to install the hydraulic brakes. And look at this, they're externally routed. Wow, but that was back in the day. I was paying for stuff like that back then. So long story short, I'm out $1,500-ish, a little bit over $1,500. The good news, I guess, if there is good news from thievery or having anything stolen, is that the amount that all of this adds up to is a felony. So they ever catch the person. Speaking of which, I would think that if there's a bike that's likely to be seen, it would be Project XR. It's very distinctive. Not only that, but my area, it's not that large. It's not overly populous. And more importantly, there aren't that many cyclists. I regularly have people comment that they've never seen another bike rider in the bike lanes with me. And that's often true. I rarely see another cyclist in the bike lane. Any bike sticks out around here, XR Pro is going to stick out like sore thumb. And pretty much everyone around here knows this bike. So hopefully at some point, Whoever stole it is stupid enough to get out and ride it. And hopefully get seen, police get notified, and get caught and I can get the bike back. We'll see what happens, but either way, right now, as it stands, very sad. I mean, not super sad because no one's dead, no one's sick. Everyone that I know, family, friends, we're all healthy and having a good life. And that's what really counts, all this material stuff. It can be replaced, and fortunately, it's not one of the bikes I ride regularly, so I'm not missing it in that sense, but I am missing it just in the sense of it was such a pivotal bike for Kev Central. Really a trophy. I mean, I have a YouTube play button, but the XR Pro means more to me as a trophy for the channel than that play button. And I guess it's only fair that since I tell you it's been stolen, I tell you the details of what happened, how it went down. I had it loaned out to someone that lives in the area but away from me and they had it on their patio a fenced in patio and unfortunately a thief came in there and got the bike and some tools that they had but nothing else just the bike and some tools so i don't know if they rode off with the bike or if it was premeditated and there was a vehicle involved and they loaded stuff up i don't know that part probably we'll never know that part unless we catch them but there is like i said i think a high chance that if they do get out and ride it they will get seen and a lot of people are looking for it, so maybe there's a chance that they get caught. If not, there's a bit of a dilemma. Do I recreate Project XR? Do I buy another one? Or, I mean, it's been kind of outclassed, at least 
in my mind by the Mongoose Ledge X1 and my Project Ledge build. Or maybe Mongoose sees this and decides to donate an XR Pro so I can recreate it more affordably. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Comment below with what you think. Should I redo Project XR, maybe Project XR version 2.0, a 2022 version? Or since it's outclassed by my Project Ledge X1 build, maybe just run with that and make the existing now oldest build Project X, ironically. Project XR to Project X, my Hyper Carbon X carbon fiber bike, I still have that. As far as my feelings, am I mad? Yeah, I'm mad at the thief. I'm not mad at the person that it got stolen from. It's not their fault. They had it in a fenced-in patio area. And I'm angry at the thief for the monetary loss and also the transgression because, you know, this is a violation to have something stolen. But as I've already said, the biggest sadness comes from just my trophy. My trophy no longer being at least within reach, even though it's been loaned out for quite some time. But it was still mine, and I could still have access to it anytime I wanted. I could go get it, but not anymore. So that's the story. The bad news that I had to share, and kudos, man, I have some of the most observant viewers on YouTube. I swear to this, that image that I used for my community post, some of you noticed that that was Project XR right away. The first comment was, uh-oh, what happened to Project XR? Impressive. So there we go. That's the story. Comment below. Share anything if you want to share your grief. I'm venting, and this is helping me being able to talk about it. But share any comments that you want. I read each and every one of them. And be sure you are checking the channel regularly. You have that notification bell active so you don't miss any new videos like where I'm going to be talking about Novatech Hubs soon or the lack of Novatech hubs on a certain product. Project XR, you will be missed, but I guess it's a good thing that I have about 39 other bikes. People ask me, why do you have so many bikes? I guess this would be one answer. Replacements. Anyway, thanks for watching Kev Central, and have a great day.